If we can give a round of applause to Broadway. All right, there they are. That's Liz and Justin Lane. This last week, we introduced you to them during Infertility Awareness Week. Well, this weekend they found out they're getting a grant to help start their family. Liz and Justin Lane have been married for 10 years and they've been diagnosed with infertility. They shared their struggles last week with us, as well as the hope that Amelia Malloy's Angels, an organization, has brought them. And then days later, they found out they would receive the nonprofit's second ever grant to help start their family. Joining us this morning, Liz and Justin Lane. Good morning to both of you guys. Morning, Thank you morning. so much for coming in. Thank we appreciate yeah, it. Thanks for having Every us. Every time I see that, it, the video. Bl it blows my mind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just I, don't, I can't believe it. Good morning and thank you for having us. You weren't expecting it. No. Oh, oh no. no. Gosh, no. no. It was like we were trying not to get our hopes up because <laughs> yeah. you're just like, okay, if it doesn't happen, we're okay. And then they were so sneaky. They were, <laughs> they were so they really sneaky. Were, yeah. Yes, they brought you up saying you'd won a raffle. Well, this was quite the raffle to win yeah. uh, a large grant to help start your family. Um, you shared last week that you had applied previously for the grant. But just getting involved with the million Malloys in general had really helped amidst this struggle, yes. right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We had applied for the grant last December, and then they, we heard that they started out a group. And so a group to help support with families struggling with infertility. So we joined that, and we've gone a couple times. Yep. And they've been fun. We've had a blast. Um, and it's just there for extra support, information, encouragement. Yeah, and, and have people to know what you're going through to talk to and work with and all that stuff. It's been great, yeah. That's incredible. And, and you guys have been so open with your struggle with infertility, and it's something that really is a lot more common than anyone realizes. Yeah, since this, actually since we won, it's been crazy. I've probably had 10, 10 people talk to me, like my sister, my cousin. I mean, no joke, everywhere we go, hey, we saw you on the news. I know someone dealing with this too, and that's exactly what we want from this. That's why we want to be open is to open up that conversation, say there's there's hope, there's ways you could work through this. Yeah, you know, re reduce some of that stigma. Yes, People feel yes. ashamed to talk about it, Yes, I think a lot. It is, and it's so wild because it, we didn't talk about it. We, I mean, 10 years of our lives and you, you kind of just put it to the side. It's, yep. we're okay, we're, we're fine, it's not really that big of a deal. And then it is a big deal. Like, it <laughs> and, is a big deal, yeah. And you <laughs> come to that realization and then I'm like crying to him every few months. <laughs> It's still not happening, something's wrong, I'm, and you're just, you don't want to admit that you're so devastated, right. mm -hmm. but it's devastating, and to know so many other people are going through a similar journey is mm -hmm. heartbreaking, and it just sucks, you know? Yeah, <laughs> and, and Amelia Malloy's was created to help families um, who are struggling with this. They give grants um, to help families either yeah. pursue IVF or mm -hmm. adoption, and they also just give comfort care kits and, and give this support, yes. which I really think, and just really spreading the word. What does this grant mean for you and your family? Have you been doing a lot of planning already? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, yeah, we're researching <laughs> doctors right now, figuring out who we wanna go to. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, just, it's that next yeah. chapter, right? And yeah. so, um, instead of it just being this dream that we're saving up towards, it's something that we get to pursue now. So yeah. it's that whole next step. Yeah, we're so, it, grateful to Amelia Malloy's that they would consider us even and then mm -hmm. the fact that we got this is again I, humbling it, there's just there's so many people out there who have similar stories who are just as you know well, I'm using air quotes worthy because mm -hmm. I feel like we're just one of obviously millions of people and um, this grant just means hope for us it means a new start it means it's one less thing that we have to worry about a big thing Right. But it's already stressful enough to have to go through IVF and to deal with and work through those emotions. But the added addition of the monetary expenses yeah. was kind and of it's, daunting. It's a giant expense. There we know uh, any fertility treatment, whether you're talking IVF adoption surrogacy, can range from $20,000 to like $150,000. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, if you are interested in getting involved with Amelia Malloy's one way or another, they, uh, you know, whether it's support or you want to donate and help other families, AmeliaMalloy'sAngels.com. There's the address on your screen. Liz and Justin, we're going to continue following your story. <laughs> okay. And we're so grateful for how open you've been mm -hmm. in sharing this. Uh, this joy with us now. We're so happy for you. Thank yeah, you, thank Maddie. Thank you so much. You're so We're so excited. All right, we'll be right back.